Now, while Shakespeare penned his most famous work 400 years ago, he still continues to inspire generations even today. One of the most iconic fictional works about the Bard of Avon is the Oscar-winning 1998 romantic comedy film Shakespeare in Love. Now, the stage version of which has returned to Cape Town's Fugard Theatre after a very successful 2017 run. And this morning, we're joined by some of the cast, the stars of the show, Daniel Impilla Richards, Roxanne Haywood, and Walter Van Dyke to share more with us. Good morning, Hello, darlings. Morning. How are you? It's so good to have you. Of course, Daniel is no stranger to our TV screens. It's good to see you. Were you casting this character because of your hair? Probably. Hey, I think we it was compete. the hair. We we hair. The How do you do it? But it's so good to see that this film is making a return. I mean, of course, um, it is a story refer referring to real people, but how do you interpret your character, Daniel? Um, I mean, I draw on the facts, but I've got to use life experience. Yeah. Um, and I think the challenge comes in where I've got to separate my character from my real life. And yeah. I mean, that's a choice as an actor. You've got to do that when you walk into the theater. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But that's essentially what your character is about. It's about a real character, um, of course, talking about, you know, um, as he writes Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. And that's quite an interesting situation to be involved in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's, it's an honor to be playing such a, a well-known writer. Yeah. Um, I've always, I always learned about him at school. I, I yeah. never fancied his writing, but I do now. Definitely. <laughs> now we appreciate it. Back in the day, not so much. Roxanne, let's talk about your character. You play a bit of a dual role. I do indeed. Yeah. yeah. So I play uh, Viola de Lesip. So she's a fictional character. Yes. Um, and she's kind of set up as Shakespeare's muse okay. and his inspiration for some of his later works, so Romeo and Juliet, yeah. Twelfth Night. Mm. And um, she is a lover of theatre and yeah. wants to do everything she can to be involved in the theatre. But yeah. back in the late 1500s, women were not of allowed course. to act. Yes. So she disguises herself as a man. Thomas mm -hmm. Kent, and she's got a wig and a moustache, and um, finds her breast <laughs> underneath her jacket. <laughs> so that's a line from the play. <laughs> I find it so interesting. So, You're a woman who plays a woman pretending to be a man in the play. Very exactly. Very, very wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's it's fun. It's been a really great. Um, yeah, challenge also to yeah. kind of get those male mannerisms, but of still course. make it look like you're a woman trying to get the male mm. mannerisms. Yeah. So it can't be too convincing. Yeah. It's like a good balance. So many mm. layers, so many <laughs> layers. Mm. Well, Walter, you're English. Yes, I am. Um, yeah. You come from the place where Shakespeare do, comes from. What is it like for you to bring this play to life for a South African audience? Oh, it's very exciting. I mean, I've lived in London for 40 years, um, and I know London really, really well. Yeah. and. It's, it's, it's for me, it's, it's just a really wonderful experience to actually go back 450 years in time yeah. and try to imagine what London was like at yeah. that time. Yeah. You know, they've only recently in London excavated two Elizabethan theatre playhouses, mm. which are in this play, the Curtain Theatre and the Theatre, yeah. 15 years ago, yeah. and they, they uncovered the foundations. And it's the theater where Romeo and Juliet was put on for the first time. Oh, wow. And this is what we try to recreate and, and, and give a feeling of for mm. the South African audience. Yeah. What was it like to be in this Elizabethan theater playhouse yeah. rehearsing Romeo and Juliet for yeah. the first time? Yeah with an Elizabethan troupe of players. That's very wonderful. exciting. Mm. I love it. Now, for those that were, of course, fans of the 1998 movie, what are you hoping South Africans will enjoy the most about your play? I think there's lots of comedy in it for me. I mean, yes. I, I got to watch it uh, last year. Yeah. I wasn't in last year's production. And I, for me, the, the, the comedy, but also the mm. characters are so colourful mm. and, mm. and, and flavoursome. Really Each jumping. character yeah. really shines and has its own unique aspect to it. Mm. And, and the romance, of, of course. Of course, yes. romance. Yes. romance. And, and our, <laughs> our costume designer, Barry LaRue, has, has given us the most sumptuous Elizabethan mm. costumes. They're mm. absolutely beautiful. Wow. And, and they fit um, like a glove. Oh. So amazing. Yeah, yes. 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 There's a dog yes. as well. Is but there? We, yeah. Yes. You yeah. guys but you know what? both in, in, no, not the other. <laughs> it's another dog. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, we not only have Shakespeare, but we've also got Queen Elizabeth I. Oh, wow. Yes. And yes. Robin Sarah Scott is 
is does a sensational job and mm -hmm. won the Fleur de Cap yes. award for her yes. performance. Like we yeah. are, I, I, now I'm super excited. I have to go and see it. Thank yeah. you so much, Walter. Thank you, yeah. Roxanne. Thank you so much, Daniel, for being here and of course giving us a taste of what's to come. Now the 2018 run of Shakespeare in Love at the Fugard Theatre in Cape Town is booking up until the 6th of October. So you have to make sure to book your tickets, which go from 200 Rand to 350 Rand by visiting <laughs> thefugard.com.